hide. Yeah, I don't think I'm using that mic. Let's see now. There we go. And now let's get the, the audio of my Mac to work. Um, I think we're good. Let's see. Let, let me open up the stream. It's so hot right now. It's mid-March and it's like 95 degrees Fahrenheit in Uruguay. It's usually like 70, 75 this time. Hi, Martin. What's up? What's good, bro? I would pronounce your name, but I'm not sure how to pronounce that. How would I pronounce that? Is that is that Greek or um, Georgian? I think it's Greek. What's good, Alex? I have a lot of work to do today, so I'm just going to like go straight into cooking. I was making this melody last night. And I don't know, I've been going through this like really strong beat block. So I haven't really been making stuff that I feel like, okay, I want to make a video on this. I just feel like everything I'm making doesn't satisfy me. So I'm just going through like so many beats, so many melodies. It's like, I'll sit down, make five melodies and delete them all, which maybe I shouldn't be doing, but let me show you really quickly. What's good? So that's what we have so far. Uh, yeah, I'm like, I don't know where to continue with this melody. I think I'm gonna like lay down like more pads or something and maybe speed it up a little bit. Uh, shows how to make sad tunes for sure. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know how to help you with that, but let's see what we can put up together. So let me get any cheap free effects you recommend. Uh, Sure. So number one, let me move my screen down here. This is codec and it's codec VST. It's free and I really like it. I've been using it a lot. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, Bahala super massive is free as well. And uh, all the kilohertz VSTs are free as well and they're pretty cool. I mean, they do have some like um, not 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 free BSDs, but these ones are pretty good. They have like a whole suit like resonators, pitch shifters, gators, and everything. Um, so if you come shop and then the free effects here, it's called the free effects. I've been using those a lot, and they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I really like them. <clears throat> um, I think I have their app on my Mac, or I don't. I thought I had it. Apparently I don't, but yeah, those are, are pretty good. And also one thing you can always do if you want to find cool plugins is you go to pluginboutique.com. I don't know if I'm logged in. Let me check really quickly. There we go. And so, um, yeah, you can just come in here free and you can just look effects, instruments, bundles, everything, you know? So you can find some pretty cool stuff if you look. Like I found Kodak here in the Bit Crusher, but I, I guess you could find a lot of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, just look around the, the free section in Plugin Boutique and you'll find pretty cool stuff oftentimes. What's good, Rest? So yeah, let's just continue with this melody. Where's my Chrome? I deleted it, shit. Um, oh no, I didn't, there we go. So I, I've been going through this really strong beat block and I want to get worked on. I have a melody from Silas I have to work on. I have two packs from TG that I need to work on. One pack from Baby Asul I need to work on. So yeah, I'm just like figuring out what to do and how to deal with my beat block the most efficient way. Because at the end of the day, Beat block is not necessarily a bad thing, I feel like. Beat block just means that you care about the job you're doing. And that, like, at least this is the way I see it. Hold on, I need to open this up on my Chrome. So it's like, when you feel like you're beat blocked, it's because you care about the job you do. So when you cannot, you want to protect it. So it's like, 
you want to make the best you can make. So when you're when you feel like you you're not at pair that you're making not the best you could be making is when you feel beat blocked. It's like whoa, like this doesn't sound as good as I want it to be. Um, but I I guess that's one way of seeing it. I I guess the way to deal through beat block or to cope with beat block is just work more. Or maybe that that's that's like the um the perspective I picked up. It might not might not be shared by everyone, but I don't know. No, oh, with this one. So I'm using Ableton today because sometimes when I feel beat blocked, I just like want to change. So I just like open up a different DAW. And this is on A. So this is A. Fibra ya no, no tengo fibra. This is not G minor, I don't think. This is C major. Yeah, it's C major. It's all white notes. Or I A minor, I guess. I read someone's comment on my last live streaming saying like, I need to learn music theory because I saw you just like make up a melody just by knowing the scale. And honestly, you'd be surprised with how little music theory I know. It's just that I've been doing this thing every single day of my life for the past five years, almost. Yeah, I, I started making music in 2017. So yeah. Wow, no, 2018, yeah, five years. And so once you get to like do something every day repeatedly, like for at least one hour a day, uh, it's like you just get good at it. Like you just develop an ear to, to music. Like, for example, when I listen to music, I can hear the melody and know most of the time what notes coming up because I'm just I'm just like used to doing that. Like naturally when I'm making music. Um, did you switch to Ableton? That's crazy. Uh, no, I didn't. I just like, when I'm feeling really beat blocked, I just change DOS and then go back. What preset? Uh, let me check. This is Celeste Music Box from Keyscape. You're rocking that boss cut. Let me tell you the story about why I have a boss cut. Because if you look at pictures, uh, l let me show you a picture of me not long ago. Let me show you a picture. Because I, I used to have long hair. Oh, I got the answer now. <laughs> um, I used to have long hair. And then on like December, I decided to cut my hair. Uh, my friend was like, why don't you cut your hair? I was like, sure. So I cut my hair. And back, you know, when you shave your head, it's like it starts growing uneven. So like then you need to fix it so it doesn't keep growing uneven and it looks awful. So we couldn't find like like a like a head like like a shaver. So we used this shaver we found in her house and it was like 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 the things you put to cut your hair don't work. It, it didn't just work. We put like the, the four thing and it didn't work. I wanted to cut my hair in like four. I think it's like four inches or four millimeters. I'm not sure. It's four millimeters. I'm pretty sure. 
So, no. Maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, so, basically, it's just like, it didn't work. So, I was like, fuck it. Like, this shaver, it has, like, an adjustable preset. So, you can put it from, like, 0.5 to 2.5. And I was like, I'll just put it 2.5, and it will, like, it will, like, grow. It's not that short. And the adjustable, like, thing didn't work. So, it basically shaved my head bald. Um, I have pictures of when my head was, like, actual bald. Because that's the problem. I, I, I didn't mean to, like... Uh, shave my head bald. It's just what happens. Uh, so now I'm just waiting for my hair to grow back up. It's growing back pretty quickly though. I cut my hair bald back in like, um, yeah, it was like late January, and I was in Seattle. It was like January Seattle. It was like freezing. I had to use like beanies for weeks, weeks, and yeah, I'm a huge fan, man. Thank you. How are you? Let me find the picture I can show you really quickly. I'm going through my phone right now. So yeah, this picture was a few days after I shaved my head. Where's my camera? Let's see if you can see something. Where's my OBS? Here. So it's it's just that like my head ended up bald because like the, the shaver didn't work. <laughs> Britney Spears face, not really, I'm just letting it grow back. for like it wasn't sales i think i got it for like 35 bucks but i don't really know how to use it that's the thing i used to use it a lot back in windows so when i had a chance I, I bought it like i was using the demo and it was pretty cool so when i bought it it was like good cool but how do you use it now you want to hear i made me yesterday sure bro send it to me my my discord server is on the link in the description i think <laughs> Are MacBooks worth it? It depends. It really does depend. Um, so let me let me put my back because when when I'm talking, I like to see myself for some reason. Because if not, I'm looking over there, and I feel like whatever. So are MacBooks worth it? Uh, that's a fair question. So it depends. It depends on many things. Number one is are you using cracked software? If you're using cracked software, it will be hell because like the, the new like Apple. Because okay. I shouldn't be talking about like crack software, maybe I feel like or whatever. But the truth is that when you start producing, when you start making music, you didn't have money to like go and invest a few thousand dollars in plugins or BSDs or whatever. Well, or like equipment, you know, like like this microphone my equipment, it's expensive. Like buying a piece of software is the same as buying a microphone. It's the same. And if you're not paying for it, it's the same crime. Like you're still stealing. You could see it many ways, but like the objective point is that one. But the truth is, it's like it would be ignorant to just say, like that that cracking is not important when it comes to music because it's the way that most musicians get started. Like, let me open up my Apple Studio. Like, this is my Apple Studio, and as you can see here, I have a legal version of Apple Studio. I have the all plugin edition. Do I even use the all plugin edition? I don't. Like, I got it just so I had Toxic Biohazard, and I used it like twice. Um, but it was a way of supporting Image Line. Like, I started using. Their software cracked because I live in South America. Like, I live in Uruguay. Like, our minimum wage, it's $2 an hour. It's not the United States where, like, in Seattle, people make 15. Like, their federal minimum wage per hour is, like, 7.5. So, it's it's not the same. I mean, their cost of living is much higher, I guess. Like, but still, you know, um, if you're using cracked software, 
which might be the case of a lot of people. Uh, they use crack software and once they're able to buy it, they go and buy it, which is what I do like all the time. Every time I have some spare money, I go, not even spare money, every time I have some money, I go and invest on my plugins and my software. Uh, but if you're using Crack Devil Studio and stuff like that, do not get a MacBook. Do not get a MacBook because you won't be able to run it. That's the thing. It will be a, a headache. Like if you want to run it sort of okay, like Crack Software, get an Intel MacBook, like 2019, like older. But again, you're spending a bunch of money on a computer that's already old when there's new technology that works much better. So if you're using Crack Software, do not get a Mac. The other thing that might be that, that that if you might want to get a Mac for is one of these interfaces. Let me see if the cable's long enough. I have an Apollo Twin X. Okay. And those interfaces, the drivers are a total ass on Windows. Like if you're if you're using Universal Audio, I hope you're not on Windows because for example, Luna, they're like recording software, they do not even have a port for Windows. Their drivers are so difficult to run on Windows. If you have like a like a desktop computer on Windows, um, it's really difficult to plug these interfaces because it was not long like not long ago Thunderbolt three on computers was not very common. It didn't come with most motherboards. Now Thunderbolt three is very common on like uh, laptops because a lot of people plug docks and hubs into their laptop. So it depends. If you're gonna use one of these interfaces my recommendation is just get a MacBook or a Mac mini or a Mac studio or like an iMac, whatever, just something that's running on Mac. Um, but again, if you're running crack software, which is the situation a lot of people are in, just get a Windows laptop, just like any Windows laptop will be good because that's the thing. It will just be like such a really big headache. Like most of the plugins you and many of the plugins you'll need will not even be ported for Mac yet. That's the situation. So, it depends, it depends. Uh, but for example, if you want to use Logic, Logic people say, I haven't tried it yet, but people say that Logic is super well optimized on the M1 Max and it just works really nicely and really fast. But I haven't tried it to be fair. So I, I cannot vouch for that. But having said that, let's keep working. Let me move this over here. by a spider, I think, bro. What the fuck is this bug? Like, I like I felt something, like, biting me on my neck. And then I just, like, touched and, like, got the bug out. And it was, like, a little spider. So I'm just gonna keep it on the, like, left side of my table. So if I, like, die on stream, you guys can call the doctors and tell them, like, you know, like, there's, like, the, the spider that bit him is on the table. Musical Spider-Man. I mean, maybe. Where are you from? I'm from Uruguay, bro. We're in Europe. You're German. No, I'm in I'm in Latin America. I'm not German. I, I guess like my my great grandpa or something like that was German, but all my like family was born here in Uruguay, just like me. I'm not German. 
Yeah, I think my my grand grand my great grandpa he like emigrated to Uruguay. But I never met the guy that was like a hundred years ago. <laughs> I tried to lay. You can use the shaper box, right? Yeah, but I, I don't really like it to be honest. Like I don't even sp speak German. I tried to learn German at some point, but I, don't know, I like lost motivation. But the truth is that <clears throat> this map is so like acid. The truth is that the part where I live in Latin America, like Uruguay and Argentina, like most of the population, they're like descendants of immigrants from like Italy, Spain, and Argentina Germans. There's a lot of Germans like Patagonia or like those areas of Argentina. like like a little like a little wait so it's not europe no it's not europe brother it's not europe let me show you in a map really quickly because a lot of people like to be fair a lot of people don't know where my country is because it's very small like we have a population of three and a half million so let me show you really quickly so this is the the, the world map okay you have the us you have canada mexico uh germany is around here germany france spain portugal and this is South America. So you have Brazil right here. This is Brazil. And right down Brazil, you have Bolivia, Paraguay, Chile, Argentina right here in the very south of South America. And in between Argentina and Brazil, you have Uruguay right here. I don't want to zoom in because I have like location share with my dad and I don't want to dox him. But this is Uruguay right here. This is my, my, my country. This is where I live. And let me show you. Oh, I'm on another Google account, so it doesn't matter. So I live right here in this town called Piriapolis. So right here. I can speak Portuguese, brother. I can speak Brazilian Portuguese, not like Portugal Portuguese. I think the main difference is how you guys conjugate the verbs. Uh, that That's what I've read. I, I learned Portuguese, like Brazilian Portuguese at school. This matter is so gross. Let me add like, I want to have like a serum bill or something that sounds very electronic, if that makes sense. By the way, have you fixed that problem with link spammers? No, I forgot. I need to add like one of those bots that. Uh, oh shit! Thank you, brother. I still need to fix one of those. Like, uh, shit. Yeah, I see. My bad. I'll fix it today. I need to add one of those bots that automatically delete those messages. I was watching one of your bits earlier today. I got some info and made this. <clears throat> That's true. <laughs> cool beat one thing you could do if you wanted because i really like the shape of the 808 like I, I can picture the shape of the 808 something like this but um something you could do is to like um 
EQ it. So just take all of the high end that like hiss the 808 has, that like distortion, you could EQ it out and basically have a sub. And it could sound pretty cool. You just need to try it out. You basically made me the producer I am today. I fuck with Emian shit so much. You're my main inspiration, not gonna lie. Thank you so much, brother. That really makes my day. Thank you. Thank you a lot. I really love that beat. Yeah, it's really good, man. It's really good. Uh, let me open up my studio, like my YouTube studio again. Okay. And I think I can open both like channels. Oh yeah, it's just like this. I can just like press back and forth that key and turn on the listens to notes. I do use Ableton, bro. Uh, I, I use both Ableton and FL, mostly FL. But um, when I'm feeling beat blocked, I just go and open another like DAW and make music on that. It inspires me. I'm with the Ableton police. Never used any other DAW beside Apple Studio. Honestly, this is my I'm, I'm working on the video on how to get into music production. I'm like writing down stuff in my phone, like the like the um, like the script and everything. And like one thing that I say on that video is that if you're starting to make music and you have no musical background whatsoever, you I, I would recommend you to start with FL Studio because the uh, the uh, the UI is more. I don't know music. Like, I don't know, like music theory friendly, if that makes any sense. my beat also it's on top of Lil Illy's yes for sure I got you it's this one oh wow you know who that reminds me of that reminds me so much of like that sound effect it reminds me of producer Matt Singer Like, this guy is why I make Ambient, pretty much. Like, I was listening to this four years ago. You heard that, like, initial sound effect? I mean, not that I listened to both of them side by side, they're different, but it just remind me of him. Oh, wow. That's cool. Shit. on something I'll send you some melodies or something I might have something that's really cool yeah man you're really taunted like it's crazy like all my subscribers they made like the craziest music ever honestly <laughs> Oh, 
Honestly, me too. I've been struggling with texturing a lot. Let me get like a really cheap piano sound. Something like this. Um, I think the cons the classical one was was sort of cool. Um, so if I come here. Como vai você, cara? This is my day for real. I'm so glad. Also, Ellie, if you want to send some melodies or anything my way, feel free to do it. Like, my Discord is always open. Like, my, my messages are always open. And my, uh, my email is always open. So, if you ever want to send stuff my way, send it. I might not, I might not be able to work on it instantly, and it might take me some time, but I... I might get to it at some point. I just get so much stuff daily that it's almost impossible for me to get, check everything I get. That's why that's why I don't like guarantee labs to people and stuff because it might be out of my reach. Like I get so many emails a day that sometimes I just like lose them. But send stuff my way if you'd like. You always streaming this time? Uh, around this time, sometimes later. That's some beans you got off a pro. <laughs> you think so? I think it's just being disorganized. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. for me. It's uh, 8 for me right now. So let's get to making some drums, actually. So Shit kind of beat. I don't know what I'm making, really, honestly. I don't know how I would, like, name it. do that and then come over let me just take out that part. oh so it's almost morning for you uh, 11 p.m is light oh no 11 it's like 23 for him what's on the mixing for the main instruments uh, on the main pad this omnisphere pad i just have eq this one is like a bunch of stuff it starts with crystals and kickstart halftime portal thermal digitalis eq and then a stereo uh then serum 
it's just delay in this piano it's portal It's not an actual pad, but something you missed. It's not like a pad. No, no, no. It was actually a pad. Sometimes I do use pads. Let me just like absolutely destroy this hi hat. Let me get like. <laughs> Let's just try out. Let's do one half. No. One sixteen. Sometimes you just like open up presets, you don't know what they do, and you just try them out. Oh shit, that's cool. What? Uh, what are your favorite BSTs? I don't really know. Like, I just, like, switch back and forth between, like, a bunch of plugins. So I wouldn't be able to tell you, really. The good thing I like about Ableton is that they actually have, like, a decent Spanish port. The Apple Studio port is really bugged.
about Ableton is that my screen it feels like too small for it. Think so? Oh, there we are.
make this gate wave even louder. Good night, Brass. I hope you have a good sleep. It was nice to be here. I keep up with the good work and thanks for listening to my beat. See you and peace out, y'all. See you, man. What am I looking at? Excel. You're looking at Microsoft Excel. Uh, oh, wait. You've used Ableton before. Yeah, I've used Ableton before. I just use it when I'm really beat blocked. That's not clipping enough. Oh, because of this. Make this one parallel. What's parallel?
Okay, I think it should be working now. I don't know what the problem is, but it, it should be working, I think. Um, it works. Let's go. Yeah, it was a problem with OBS. Okay, I think it should be working now. I don't know what the problem is, but it, it should be working, I think. Let's see if the audio works. Um, it works. Let's go. Yeah, it was a problem with OBS. Okay, I think it should be working now. I don't know what the problem is, but it, it should be working. Yeah, I do have a bunch of delay though on my camera. I hope you guys don't mind that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've been having a lot of problems with, the, with this Mac for streaming. I don't know why. I honestly hate this beat. How long is this loop? What? Oh, this is just some Ableton random stuff.
I've low-key been hating everything I've been making. I don't really know why. I just feel so beat blocked. It's crazy. So I'm, I'm gonna wrap this beat up and then I'm gonna go study because I have school tomorrow and it's getting late. just uh save this so yeah that's it for today guys i don't know why i've been feeling so beat plugged i don't know how to escape from it i just feel like i hate absolutely everything i've been making but i guess inspiration will come back up at some point it's just that yeah i don't know why i've been feeling like this but this is the first beat i make since the 6th of march and I'm used to like cooking up literally every day. It makes me kind of sad not being able to make music as I did before. But I'll get through it. So, so yeah, thank you guys for joining. Uh, I'm going to see you tomorrow, hopefully. Tomorrow or uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, tomorrow or Thursday. Um, and yeah, all the sounds I used today are from my new kit, the Pandora kit, and the link down is in the description. I hope you liked the stream, and thank you guys for joining. I'll see you.